first of all, you need to grab yourself some space. Um, so I've actually moved quite a lot of furniture to kind of have this sort of sanctuary around me now. Another thing you'll need eventually is a PVC pipe or what I'm using is a, what's this, mop uh, stick, if you like. Something probably a little bit longer would have been better for me, um, but certainly what I can do with this, it should work by the time we get there. Um, so get yourself one of these. Um, get yourself a yoga mat, if you want a yoga mat, I'm not gonna bother. Um, and maybe a glass of water as well, so you have that handy, because it might, might sort of work up a bit of a sweat. So, first of all, you're gonna go onto your knees, sit down on the back onto your feet like so, and what you're gonna do first of all is gonna look up as high as you can, you feel a stretch in your neck here, and you wanna bring your chin up to your nose almost. You're already feeling a stretch in your sort of jaw area. You're then gonna tilt your head to the right or left, whichever you like. You feel a stretch come down the side of your neck here, and then other side, and you feel a stretch in your neck here, and rotate down your chin hit the chest. Then you're gonna repeat that another time, all the way up, to the side, to the other side, and then down to your chest. Then what you're gonna do is just do big circles, five reps on one side, two, three, four, nice and slowly, five, and then five reps on the other side. Now some of you probably know my counting isn't great, so if I happen to do three or four and move on, just do five. Because three or four is as much as I can count, obviously. Okay, next one is shoulders. So you can do 100 as high as you can. Push forward. Push backwards and push your chest out. Up again. Forward, you should feel a stretch come through the sort of back of your shoulders. Down, back. And you're gonna do, again, shoulder rotations like so. Okay, five reps that side. Or five reps forward, I should say. And then five reps backwards. Cool. The next thing you're gonna do is a lying shoulder flexion, which some of you do do in your warm ups with me anyway. So, you're gonna lie down on the floor with your knees up and so your feet are flat. Hopefully, this will stay in the picture. It does, magical. From there, you're gonna bring your hands down to your sides so they're flat and straight. You're then gonna bring one arm over the top of you. Now from here, I don't want you to really force it back, but just kind of take it to a point where you feel a bit of resistance in the shoulder, and then back, okay? And you're going to do 10 reps on this, but I'm just gonna do five for the interest of to keep it, so the keep it not too long. I think that's five. You're then going to do five on the other side. Perfect, okay? So you would do 10 of those. Now, the next thing you're going to do, I'm on my phone, is the shoulder girdle movement that stretches. So you're gonna go onto your hands and knees like so, with your, fat, your back flat. Hold on to your sort of temple with one hand. You're then gonna rotate your elbow to meet the other elbow. And then there you might feel a bit of a stretch in the upper back here. And then open up and twist out so your chest is showing on the other side. And you do five reps that side. And you're then gonna grab your other side. Obviously you don't need to turn around like me, you can just keep going. Left hand to the left side of your temple, down to your other elbow, and then pull up. Okay, keep that back nice and flat. And you wanna bring your chest up as much as you can. So you're gonna kind of stretch that as much as you can. So you're opening up that shoulder girdle nicely. Okay, next thing we're going to do is a lat stretch. Now again, this is something that quite a few of you do in my sessions. So you're gonna go back onto your knees, 
sit your bum back onto your heels, and then you're gonna reach on the floor out in front of you with your arms straight, like so. So down the floor, reach out in front of you, put your head in between your arms, then you're gonna walk your hands over to one side, then you feel a big stretch, calm down here. Then you're gonna walk over to the other side. Feel a stretch. And you're gonna repeat this process five times. Okay, you get the idea. Okay, once you've done that one, you're then going to do a PVC or a pass over with this. So you're going to get your stick, you're going to take it into a nice wide grip. You can do this standing up or on my knees, I'm just doing it on my knees so I stay in the camera shot. You're then going to pass this over the back, like so, and then back. See, not perfect. Nice and wide, like so. If this is too much, you can simply put that down and just do big circles going forward, or backwards rather, and then forward. Okay, you're going to do 10 reps of that. Okay, then you're going to move this again. The next thing we're going to do is a reverse dog, or I think it's called that, shoulder stretch. So, Hands shoulder width apart, you're going to kick your bum up, up in the air and you're going to be head in between your, your arms. You might feel a bit of a stretch in the, in the back of the legs as well, and the calves, that's fine. And from there, you're going to go down into a Persian push up. So you're going to lower your head down to the floor, scoop around and up there. Now we're in this position here, I really want you to feel a stretch in your abs, okay? And then what you do is you're going to reverse that, so you bring your bum back up, head goes back through, and again. In this position, sometimes I like to lean to one side, lean to the other side, and you feel the stretch go down the obliques and into costals as well, just down the sides. Bum up, head goes back, and again. Now you're going to do this five times, I'm just going to do it three times, just to save a little bit of time for you. Okay, one more. Good, now, you're gonna go back into that reverse dog stretch, and now you're gonna focus on the calves. So, bum goes back up, walk your, head, hand, uh, your feet towards your hands if you need to, then you're simply gonna really try and push your heels down to the floor, and you'll feel a stretch on any calf. If this is too much for you, what you can do is bend one knee, and just stretch one calf at a time. That kind of takes the uh, intensity out of the movement. What you want to do is kind of rock from side to side, gradually increase that range of motion. Okay, once you've done sort of 10 reps on each side, or just held the calves up and down like so. If you're doing it doubly, if that makes sense, put your heels down, heels up. Once you've done that 10 times, you're then going to go into a hip stretch. You're going to bring one leg forward, push the other leg down, then you're going to drive this hip forward by bending that knee, okay? So, we'll do a few seconds on that side. Then, I'll try to swap over so you can see. You're going to do a few seconds on that side. Now, you're going to do 10 seconds on each side, then we're going to make it a little bit more dynamic. So what we're going to do is basically straighten this leg, bring it off the, off the floor, like so, and you'll feel more of intensity there. Now from there, you're going to do five reps, doing a kind of split saw. And every time you go down, you should feel a big stretch come down there. Three. Five, and then from there you're going to swap over, 
so you're basically a yoga teacher. Down, for the stretch, come back up. Okay, and again, you're going to do five reps of that. Then from there, you're going to go down onto the floor. For the stretch, come down, back to your legs, into your adductors. You're then going to bring your knees down to the floor and kind of collapse into a sort of seated position like so. Down, like that, okay? Now from there, you might want to rearrange it slightly so your feet are in this position here. You're going to bring your bum up into the, off the floor and then back down. Bum up, you now what though, you should feel a stretch come down and through here, then back down. Three. And from there, we're going to go around. The same other side. So now we're going to do another exercise that a lot of you know and love, which is called the hip drive. So you're going to bring your feet into a short, into a squat position. You can sit into a squat, then fantastic. You're then going to grab your feet with your hands, and from there you're going to bring your bum up in the air as hard as you can. And again, you'll feel a stretch in the back of the legs, and then back down. Just to show you from the side. Not too worried about keeping a neutral spine. The better hip external rotation you have, the more you'll be able to keep that spine straighter. Now your last exercise, for some of you at least, is something called a Cossack squat. Okay, so what you have to do, you can take your feet nice and wide, turn them out slightly, now I suck at these by the way, so I'll do my very best. You're gonna bring, squat down to one side, like so. You feel the stretch from here, then you're gonna squeeze up and go down to the other side. Stretch. And now it'll be one, you're gonna do it five times. Now, if you find this too hard, you can go up on your toes, hold on as well, so you're gonna be in this position, then you can walk yourself over like so. And that's kind of a more, frankly, way of doing things. So I'll go back to my other way. Okay. And we'll stretch this in that hamstring position just to feel the back of the legs loosen up. And there we are. So, a few things you can do to, uh, to add on to that. You can increase or do a glute stretch as well, which is simply the one I tend to use, is a pigeon stretch. When you wrap that leg round the front like so, back leg goes back, goes back in that position, you should feel the stretch coming through there. If you need to make that more intense, just lean down into that kind of, into that side. You can do that one. And one for your hamstrings, which you can add on to. Feet go hip wide apart, go to touch toes, or kind of put your hands flat-ish. If you can't do this, just keep, just go down as low as you can. Walk your hands over to one side, walk hands over to this side. Cool, okay, so, that's a like 15 ish minute mobility warm up, -ish, warm up sort of, or warm up workout. I say warm up because you certainly use that as part of your warm up if you're doing an upper body, lower body, or even an all body kind of workout. Um, yeah, give it a go. Let me know how you feel with it. Got any questions? Give me a shout. Take care, guys.